Steve and I worked beautifully together. I think, as far as I was concerned, he was the perfect collaborator. This week, the world lost a comic book legend. So on today's IM Debrief, we remember Steve Ditko, Marvel maestro. Best known for partnering with Stan Lee at Marvel to create Spider-Man and Doctor Strange, Steve Ditko had his first cover art published in 1954. He worked at Joe Simon and Jack Kirby's studio before moving on to work with Stan Lee soon after. When Lee was dissatisfied with Kirby's concept art for Spider-Man calling it too heroic, he sought out Ditko's interpretation instead. Ditko was notoriously private in his over half-century career, never giving an on-camera interview but he once revealed how he began his illustration with Peter Parker's spider suit. I wasn't sure Stan would like the idea of covering the character's face, but I did it because it hid an obviously boyish face. It would also add mystery to the character. Why don't you try that on? And I'll introduce the world, the newest official member of the Avengers, Spider-Man. Tom Holland, who now plays Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, tweeted this tribute to Steve Ditko. We all want to leave our mark on the world. This guy crushed it. He made so many people so happy and changed lives. Most of all, mine. Spider-Man Homecoming also honored Ditko's contributions when they directly referenced Ditko and Lee's The Amazing Spider-Man number 33 in this climactic scene. Kevin Smith remembered Ditko's astounding imagination and the awesome ability to make dreams into four-color realities, and pointed out some of his lesser-known characters like Squirrel Girl, The Question, The Creeper, and Shade the Changing Man. For more on Ditko and his years with Marvel, DC, and beyond, seek out the BBC-produced documentary on the reclusive artist In Search of Steve Ditko. Why, it's shy Steve Ditko. He heard you're making a record and he's got Mike fright. Whoops, there he goes. Out the window again? You know, I'm beginning to think he is Spider-Man. You mean he isn't? We've got more Marvel on the IMDb show this week as we sit down with Hannah John Common of Ant-Man and the Wasp. Catch it all at imdb.com show.